first step in using Mind's Eye is understanding how it works. Today, I'll be showing you the various connectors, their assembly, and how they are used, as these are the foundation of the Mind's Eye system. There are four basic connectors, varying in length and function. There are also one and a half connectors and panel walks. The one and a half connectors are used to connect beams to the differential and the panel lock connectors are used to connect the solar panels. But let's go back and take a look at the basic connectors. First, the locking two, which connects two beams together in a fixed position. The locking three, which connects three beams together also in a fixed position. Then, the rotating two, which connects two beams together but allows them to rotate. And the rotating three, which connects three beams together and allows them to rotate. Take note how the locking connectors have a rib running down the entire length of the body. There is only a partial rib on the rotating connectors. This allows two pieces to be joined together but leaves them free to rotate. All variants consist of an outside gray body and an inside black core. To assemble the connectors, simply align the posts on the inner core with the grooves on the outer body and press them firmly. To connect two beams together, first make sure the inside core is out of the body. Notice that if I try it without sliding the core out, it will not fit. After completely sliding the body into the beams, then press in the black core and gently turn it clockwise to lock it. Make sure you do not push it in until it clicks. That will remove the connector. Take note of that lip on the mind's eye tool that clicks into the core. To lock the connector, all it requires is to lightly place the tool into the core and turn it clockwise. To remove the connector, push it in until it clicks, give it a counterclockwise turn and pull it out. That's all for today. Make sure to check out the rest of our helpful videos.